Hi, Dawn Sands Lamenti. So it's that time of year to think about losing weight and getting in shape. The number one, number two resolutions, right? But instead of going on some fad diet that's not going to work, we're going to talk to a doctor in a moment who's going to talk about nutrition for the new year, a plan that really works. I've got her list, so let's get shopping. Your new grocery list for the new year is crucial to your success in making healthier choices that are proven to help you lose weight and gain nutrition. Doctors like Sadia Raymond say, look at labels. Sugar, I now tell my patients, is public enemy number one. Um, we used to have these fat-free foods in the 80s, and what they would do to make it taste better was increase the sugar content. The problem is sugar raises insulin, insulin increases our appetite, it's a vicious cycle. Government guidelines for women, 25 grams of sugar. For men, 37 grams. Watch out for added sugar hiding in soups, dressings, and snacks. Now, Dr. Raymond talked about watching your sauces, your dressings. This is one that I love. It's actually Jersey tomato sauce. So you know these are locally grown tomatoes, locally made. But look at the sugar content, only three grams of sugar. So low sugar, it's delicious. Doctors say delete processed boxed foods from your grocery list and replace them with a rainbow of plant-based whole foods, fresh or frozen vegetables, fruits, nuts, lean meats, including fish and poultry. Next, be prepared for your snack attack. Think about pre-filled. In other words, you get home and you're starving. The kids are starving. So have, have a vegetable tray like this one where you have carrots and celery, cauliflower, broccoli, whatever you like. This is, this is a freebie. There's no sugar, it's healthy. So this is your snack and it fills you up until dinner time. But instead of that ranch dip that's loaded in calories and fat, think about replacing it with something like this. And my doctor actually told me about this dressing, which I love. So it's only 40 calories a serving, more than 65% less fat, less calories, and one gram of sugar. So I talked about other veggies, cucumbers, as well as these peppers are great just the way they are, as a snack, as a pre-fill, or you can actually grill these up, they are delicious. So most people have a point in the day where your blood sugar drops and you're starving. Researchers say that usually happens around 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Instead of grabbing that hoagie, have a hard boiled egg or two. Why? No sugar. It's actually loaded in protein. It's good for you. It's a whole food, but it keeps your body busy. In other words, it satiates you and satiates that hunger to hold you over. Dr. Raymond educates her patients here at the RIPA Center for Women's Health and Wellness on simple ways to improve health one day at a time. For example, look for the heart check symbol by the American Heart Association. Doctors say your diet plan is doomed without one critical nightly ingredient, sleep. When you're sleep deprived, we have found that over time it can increase your risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. And one of the reasons for that is cortisol levels go up because you're in a stressed state, you haven't slept enough. And with that, we get our cravings for comfort foods, foods that are high in carbohydrates. We don't eat as well, um, and therefore your risk of obesity can go up. So that's one reason. Another reason is cognition and mood. Another basic to boosting better health, exercise. And we now know that it definitely makes changes in our brains. Um, it raises serotonin. It raises something called BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotropic factor. Exercise does that. And this um, improves cognition, improves our mood. It's been shown to improve depression, anxiety. So there's just way too many reasons to exercise. Research shows a 10-minute walk three times a day, five days a week, makes a huge difference in making you feel healthier and happier. Sometimes when you think you're hungry, you're actually thirsty. Remember, we're supposed to drink at least eight, eight ounce glasses of water every day so that it fills you up. It's good for you. Replace those sugary drinks or anything else with water. So basic. Reporting for another thing, I'm Dawn Stenzel Menti. Up next, Larry's commentary.